For today's lesson, we're going to be reviewing reactivity of the periodic table. Groups 1 and 17 have high reactivity. Groups 2 and 16 have medium reactivity. And groups 3 through 15 have relatively low reactivity. The most reactive metal on the periodic table is going to be number 87, francium. And the most reactive nonmetal on the periodic table is number 9, fluorine. Let's examine the reactivity of group 1 in a little bit more detail. In order to determine which metal in group 1 is the most reactive, our reactivity is actually going to increase as we move down in the periodic table. That means that lithium is going to be the least reactive metal in group 1. Moving down, sodium is going to be slightly more reactive. Potassium is going to be even more reactive than sodium. Rubidium is more reactive than potassium. And cesium is going to be more re reactive than rubidium. Francium, here in red, is going to be the most reactive of the metals found in group 1. Notice that I'm not including hydrogen because hydrogen is not a metal. Hydrogen is a nonmetal. Now let's take a look at group 17. Group 17's most reactive nonmetal is going to be fluorine. That means our least reactive nonmetal in group 17 is tennessine. Acetate is a little bit more reactive. Iodine has a little bit more reactivity. Bromine has more reactivity than iodine, and chlorine has more reactivity than bromine. That means that fluorine is the most reactive in group 17. So your reactivity is going to increase as we move up on the periodic table. Okay. Just to recap one more time, in group 1, our most reactive metal is francium. Your reactivity is going to increase as you move down through the group. On the other side, with the nonmetals, your reactivity is going to increase as you go up. And then once again, group 18, which has the noble gases, is going to have the lowest reactivity, or they are not reactive because they have a full shell of valence electrons.